Oh, I just kind of wanted to briefly take a minute to talk about how a lot of recipe tweaking and changing can occur in Minecraft as of Minecraft 1.14 straight out of the box, so you don't have to do anything special. You can do this in vanilla Minecraft even, but uh, just with Forge and with all the mods coming out now, because I've noticed there are quite a lot, um, I kind of wanted to talk about this a little bit, get you started with it, etc. So um, essentially what I have here is this folder mod pack compat is open over here in VS Code. You can choose your editor of choice. I love VS Code. I use it for literally everything I can possibly use it for. But we're going to talk about a couple of things today as far as how everything goes. So your folder, you can make it whatever you want to name it, needs to have two things inside of it, a data folder and a pack.mt meta folder or file. So this file is going to contain just some brief metadata. It's in JSON format. Um, and it's going to contain some brief metadata about it. So pack format three is sort of the, the you should keep it as three. Don't change this. This is the, the, the format that's used in Minecraft 1.14. It's how the game knows how old this data pack is. So if it's too old, it'll warn you. And then the description is just simply something um, that you can put down. Um, so this was specifically for the mod create, but we're actually going to make this just a geolysis testing server enter mod compat. So um, basically we're going to make this um, a description that's clear enough, but I don't really know if you ever see it, to be honest. So there are a couple of things that we can do with this. We can modify tags, recipes, and loot. So loot essentially changes the, the items, the blocks, and chests or blocks drops, uh, chests contain, like random loot chests is in the Yen City and stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> basically, let me show you th some of the stuff that I've already worked on. Uh, so this is the crushing set for the mod called Create. Um, essentially, within your data folder, you're gonna list off the mods that you wanna modify. So we have Create, that mod that I just showed you, Forge, which is, Basically, every mod should be adding their items into the Forge Tags list if they want to add it to what used to be the Or Dictionary. And so here you can see that. And then Geolysis is where I went to, I went to do a, a modification of one of my own recipes. So essentially, if we wanted to get started with making a recipe for crushing, the Iron Cluster recipe that you see was pretty straightforward. I went and I got the mod. I'm going to put it in my Downloads folder. I usually keep this pretty tidy. I can open this with the Unarchiver or whatever your archive utility is, 7-zip works, WinZip or WinRAR. Uh, and so what I did was, you see, as soon as you unzip it, you're greeted with the same data folder and the same pack.mc meta. So you kind of get an idea of where you're headed. So you go to data, you'll go to create because it's a create item. You see forge tags are already implemented here like I had discussed. And it looks like even some Minecraft tags have been uh, added. Impermeable, jungle logs, slab, stairs, and walls have either been created or modified. You don't have to replace tags, you can append to existing tags. So looking here, you can see loot tables for all the blocks right here. You can see tags that are added by create. If you want to modify these, you just make an exact same file in the exact same path. Or if you want to add, you just make a new file in the correct path. So I wanted to add a crushing recipe. So what I did was I had data, create recipes crushing and then you can see I listed off all these JSONs and these types are based off of types that I found in here. So I literally went and looked up the iron ore recipe, opened it in VS Code, copied this, pasted it here, changed it for what I wanted it to work as. Now if you want to look into other things you can use the tag system if you want to define your own essentially or dictionary compatible uh, item as an object. So for example you add an item uh, through some other mod, you want to add it as ingot or um, ingot copper or ingot tin is what you used to do before. Now you would simply do um, the tag system instead. So storage blocks is like the general tag. So it's hashtag storage blocks. Now contains hashtag forge store and blocks slash storage blocks slash redstone, gold, emerald, and diamond. That is literally based off of this. So if I wanted to just allow any form of storage block, I could do tag hashtag forage colon storage blocks. And then redstone blocks, gold blocks, emerald blocks, or diamond blocks would all be permitted. It would not matter at all. Likewise, I did something similar here for the prospector's pick just to demonstrate. If you want to use any ingot instead of specifically an iron ingot, which is what I have the recipe as by default, you just redefine the crafting shape. I didn't change it, so you can still see it's the same three across with two on the right side. And then I made sure to keep this as rods, rods slash wooden, 
for the rod piece and then for the ingot piece, I'm just letting it take any ingot type. Tag forge colon ingots allows me to use literally any type of ingot whatsoever. So let's dig into how to do this for a new mod that I haven't done before. That way you can see my process and understand it a little bit. So there's this I like wood mod that I've been using a little bit, but I've noticed it had a lot of server issues. So I want to disable a few recipes and I want to add a few recipes uh, or add a few tags to make for some compatibility. I'm going to make a new folder side by side so that I can really easily um, dig these together. And then if we go into the I like wood folder, you should be able to see a few things. First thing I want to remove is a recipe. So we're going to go to recipes. And then basically all of the tools, I want to remove recipes for all of the tools. Now this is a lot of files, so I'm going to really quickly go through and just turn all of these into an empty file. But I'm going to show you how to get this started to begin with. Literally all you do, you're done. You've just removed the recipe for that item. There is no way to obtain it now. Um, pretty straightforward. You know, I'm going to write up a really quick Python script to do this because there are a lot of items here. And so I wanted to show you another really easy thing you can do with Python. Um, that way you don't have to really stress about all the things that you have to do. And that's pretty much all we need to do. And this is going to let us turn all of these files into our, our files that we want to use. So we're going to do Python 3 clean.py. And so now all of these files are going to be completely empty, which is exactly what we want. So this should make it so that if we load up this pack, we should have literally nothing going on inside of these things. So let's test this out because we have a lot of things that we just added. Um, so we're just going to go here. I have a script that lets me um, zip a folder in, in Mac OS and ex specifically exclude um, the .ds store and .mac OS X files because they're junk. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I compress this mod compat. You have to do this. We need to go saves and then single player testing and then data packs. And then I could just shove that right there. Then we should be able to see if I go to I like wood. None of these items have crafting recipes anymore. Uh, so the other thing that I want to do is if we go to forge tags items. OK, so we need to make a new folder called rods. And a new file called wooden. And then we're going to just copy paste from this template that I have here for the other one. We want to specify that we don't want to replace the original set of wooden rods. We just want to append to it because there's plenty there. Um, and then what we can do, perfect. Um, so I'm going to do a very useful VS Code tip, uh, trick and multi-select. That way I can start cleaning these up. Oh, so it's it's upset because it doesn't have a vanilla item in it. That's fine. So that gives us that. And that means that now any one of these rods will now be considered a wooden rod. And so they should all be interchangeable, which is the goal. I don't see the point in having the uh, rods for those being specifically non-interchangeable. So now that we have that done, we can do the same thing. We're going to go back to downloads. We're going to do the same thing as far as uh, zipping it cleanly and so now what we should see is if I go look up like the prospectors pick recipes or any of the other recipes we should be able to see um, that those other sticks should be compatible there we go so you can see that all of these other weird sticks also work um, and then you can see it's going to rotate through all the types I saw nether brick in there and I'm kind of bothered by that but you can go through and override that. So if you want to override it, you can say, um, you know, don't include this item in the tags list. I'm pretty sure there's an easy way to do that. But I basically just wanted to kind of get in here and show you. So a lot of the configs in Geolysis will now be missing as a result of the fact that you can now do it yourself so very easily. As you saw, this was a pretty simple tutorial. Um, it took no effort at all for me to do. And so this will easily allow you to go through and change recipes if you find something to be too easy or too hard. Um, I can now go through and technically craft any of these items with any of these sticks. It may break some of the I like wood recipes, but you know what? I think it's fine. Uh, for example, the torch recipe may now be impossible to make. I'm not actually sure. Let's see. Okay, so it, it does still seem to prefer the hard-coded recipe. That's nice. 
Um, but yeah, just things to consider more or less, or that that can be kind of finicky, and I totally understand. Uh, so overall, I hope you got some help from this. If you have any questions, just leave a question down in the comments, and hopefully I can get to it. Um, but I'll see you guys, I guess, later.